fantastic. Wow, thank it's you a very for nice dress me. you have thank on. Thank you. Did you meet Kim Kardashian? No, not yet. I've been watching her. Oh, I, you have. I have to say, she's um, she's brought curves into the mainstream, which I applaud her for. She yes, um, she certainly yeah. has. Yes. You know, she's uh, she's, a, she's one of the most famous women in the world. It's she amazing. is indeed. Is yeah. that how it goes in England? I know, you, I know reality shows are very popular over there too, right? Yeah, they are. It's a different kind of breed of person and entertainment. Like at the. I see them as like so different from what I do as an actor that they I get so starstruck. So there's a show in oh, England. Really? Um, yeah, yeah, like it, there's a show called Goggle Box. I don't know if you've heard about this. I have not. It What's it called? Goggle Box. Goggle Box. And it's okay. quite metaphysical in the sense that you're just watching people watch people on TV. And they're like normal people. It's like an accountant and a teacher who's sitting there watching and commenting people on TV. And it sounds crazy, but I, I, it's like my crack. I'm really? addicted to it. This is on like mainstream television? Yeah, it's on. And it's on weekly. And I remember seeing Mary from Wiltshire uh, walking down the street with shopping bags one day and going, oh, Oh God, it's Mary. I can't. I can't. Oh, she's look at a regular like, on the show. She's a regular, but to me, she's this a star because <laughs> it's a different world. Did you speak to her? No, I was too shy. Oh, and so yeah. what? So, like, don't be weird. Don't be weird. Just let her do her shopping. Leave her alone. Give her privacy. Give her space. Wow, <laughs> that's very yeah. interesting. Yeah, I think that's probably the same around here. What's the show uh, there? Their uh, version of Bachelor. Uh, oh, Love Island. Love Island. Yes, that I read about that today. Okay. What is going on on that show? This is this is I'm now revealing my shame. Okay. Good. 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 Um, it, yes, Love Island is, again, another f drug to me. It's the final tonight, apparently, which I'm sadly missing oh, because I'm here. I'm so sorry Thanks. to take you away from Love Island. Uh, <laughs> Does somebody win on Love I Island? Think, I think so. So it's like five girls go in, five guys go in, they kind of couple up. Mm -hmm. And then they've, they're thrown loads of challenges to see whether or not they'd stick together or not. Like what but, kind of challenges? Well, it's like they'll bring in an ex-girlfriend into the that. island and see if the new couple can survive it. I mean, it's ho it's horrible. It's right, like, right, right, right. <laughs> it's like I love that modern you guys... day gladiators. It's, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like, though, that you're doing that because we always feel like uh, the Brits are so much smarter than we are, and they are smarter we are. than we are. It's but, true. But then you realize that we have that common love of stupidity right there you know it's a form of gladiator it's uh we throw think people into the ring and we want them to commit social suicide like there is a dark side to this mm -hmm. you know that i think is is to our shame something we you know when we enjoy someone else's falling and someone else's you know um embarrassments or some humiliation then we yes. get a kick of it i suppose it's because it helps us <laughs> it sounds feel like better about ourselves. It sounds like you've thought about this a lot, and then maybe you're well, really... I'm British. That's yeah. <laughs> Analyzing <laughs> <laughs> what brings you joy, whereas we just kind of experience it and we keep moving forward. Take it as it comes. All yes. right, so Gogglebox and Love, Love Island, Island are the shows to watch. They are. Yeah. yeah they certainly are. <laughs> Do you watch our shows? Do you watch, like, The Bachelor or anything like no, that? No, I don't, I don't have a TV. At all? No. Well, so how do you watch any of this stuff? Uh, online. But you got to get a goggle box, you know? I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you live now? You live over there? Yes, yeah, so I live in the UK. You yeah, live in the uh, UK. Yeah, but my, I'm half American, half English, so my dad uh, is from Kansas City. Um, my aunt is actually backstage at the moment, Aunt Randy. Hi, Aunt Randy. You have a name, Randy? Aunt Randy, she's backstage. Randy? Yeah. Her Mar name's Randy? Miranda. Oh, Miranda, yeah. okay, all right. Yeah, Randy's a, kind of an odd name for a, yeah, for a lady. Special lady. Yeah. Yes, yeah. <laughs> And she accompanies you uh, wherever you go, or she just on this she trip? Stay, I do remember, actually, it was so lovely. The, the first um, c kind of premiere that I did about 12 years ago, and she wore this beautiful top, and it had, like, sparkles, had glitter on it. And um, what was happening is that the glitter was rubbing off on people. Mm -hmm. So it was a bit of like a Hansel and Gretel effect, that if I was lost my auntie, I would just follow the trail <laughs> of glitter on people. And I think at one point I saw, like, Colin Farrell had it around his nose and his face, and, like, someone had it, look, it almost looked like dandruff where she'd hugged them. It was very... <laughs> it was really cute. She's like a magic Aunt Randy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, this movie... Now, tell me about this, because I haven't had a chance to see it yet, but it's Disney's Christopher Robin. Yes. And you play whom in this? So I play the wife of the grown-up Christopher Robin. Oh, he's grown so up now. He's, exactly. So it begins, he's a, he's a grown man. And the thing that I think adults will relate to is that he's on a bit of a hamster wheel where he's burdened with the responsibilities of everyday life and having to provide for his family. And so he loses his way a little bit. And he's losing contact with his wife, who I play, and his daughter. And it's really about how his 
friends in Hundred Acre Wood kind of alerted to this conundrum that he's in, and they go and they help him, rem remind him who he was. And they're all in there, like uh, yeah. Tigger and... Uh, Rabbit and Kangaroo and Roo and Piglet and... And Pooh. And Pooh. And, uh, and Pooh. And Pooh. <laughs> oh, OK, well, yes, exactly. It's very hard to promote a job when the word poo is bandied about. <laughs> yeah, so liberally. I was doing press with Ewan on Friday, and someone said to me, um, did you have any, you know, Winnie the Pooh merchandise as a child? And I went, yeah, I had, uh, I had some pyjamas with poo on them. <laughs> and, <I> went, <laughs> and there was a stop. And then I just turned to Ewan, and he's just crying. And he just... <laughs> We just he, we couldn't carry on the. You never the, got the, used to that. Never during got the, used to yeah. it, and then of course that was a, a, the snowball effect because the next question was, oh, how how did they get Pooh's paw to put honey on your face? And you and went, well, they had the Pooh's paw on on a stick, and a human was. And so I was like, oh, poo on a stick. Oh God, that couldn't go. The away merchandising with it. opportunities are really endless here. <laughs> <laughs> And yeah. do they use and it's CGI, right? The, uh, yeah. the animals. And do they use the actual stuffed animals, the Winnie the Pooh characters? There or? are different like, stages of it. So you start off with the stuffed animal looks very similar to what you see in the animated version at the end, and the finished product. But um, you're you're filming a scene with the stuffed animals in front of you, but it's voiced by actors who are off screen. So you're listening to what they're saying, but you're reacting to this inanimate object. And then you finish the scene, and then they do the visual effects pass. And the visual effects team bring in the grey clod of material that is limbless and headless and hairless, which is suddenly you're in a Guillermo del Toro version of I the see. film. It's, it's like it's... a horror film all of a sudden. And then you have to repeat the scene to this. And then the next bit is like a, a rod with a light on it, which is meant to be the character. And then eventually it's just down to nothing. It's like dis disintegration of poo as it <laughs> goes down. <laughs> That could be the title. It's a Disney film, people. This could be the sequel, The Disintegration of Pooh. Haley <laughs> Atwell, everybody. Disney's Christopher Robin opens the theaters on Friday. Thanks for watching. And remember, every time you click the subscribe button, one of your enemies gets destroyed.